can you give us some insight on like how how might you move through anger in a way that's productive and healthy? Yeah. And, and I rarely get asked this question, Jess. So I'm excited that I get to, to share this and talk about this. Um, so I'm thinking of a person who grew up in a family where if they expressed any anger towards their parents, that it would have been shut down, right? Like yeah. they, they would have been uh, annihilated, <laughs> perhaps <laughs> that the, it would have compromised the relationship and thus their survival because they're a kid and they depend on that relationship to be fed, to be clothed, to be yeah, provided. I think a lot of people need. grew up in an environment. A like lot that. of people, a lot common. of people, exactly. And and yet we don't recognize that as a trauma. And yet that would have started these trauma patterns being wired into our nervous system, mm-hmm. where oh, I can't express that, and I've got to numb that. I've got to turn that inwards in order to save the relationship, even though it's no longer really a true authentic relationship. Right. And so those are the type of people then that then when grief comes and they, they reach what would be the normal stage of anger and any form of anger, their body, their nervous system has decided, no, 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 no. It is not safe to express anger because that compromises our safety and our survival. And so one of the most effective ways that I have seen working with this is being able to express anger as just a part of us, because it's much easier for someone coming out of that kind of a history and a childhood to say, there is a part of me that is angry rather than saying, I am angry. Being able to say, it's a part of me that feels really angry that this person died. A part of me is angry at whoever God, the universe, who at the hospitals, the system, it's much easier for them to express it as just a part of them rather than all of me is angry. And it just helps keep it more manageable because then they can also acknowledge, and there's a part of me that feels sad. And there's a part of me that actually is scared to feel angry. Acknowledging these different parts of us really helps to be able to make that anger phase more manageable and something that we can move through by being able to express it as it's one part of me that feels quite angry about this. 